Commissioner Yvette Colburn and we are here at the Cultural Arts Center, Rhythms of Africa. And there is such a beautiful show that they put on. What makes it even better is that the kids right here from our high school participate in it. And it's amazing what they can teach the kids in such a short time. And what a wonderful opportunity it is for the kids to play with such amazing artists. This is always a wonderful event here in the city of Miramar. Whether or not you live in the city of Miramar, work or play, this is a wonderful place for you to come and enjoy a show like this. Hope to see you next year. The Rhythms of Africa, and it's an awesome show. Every year, Willis Stewart and his organization brings it along with the production staff, the students, we're so grateful that they choose this venue. It's a family show, and this year's theme is the strength of a woman, and it's during Women's History Month, no less. And so there's two days of fun, entertainment. Uh, you are thoroughly um, enthralled in the rhythms that are African in nature. Embrace Music Foundation under the leadership of the one and only living legend, Willie Stewart. Uh, we are so proud of this year's production where we are featuring the Miramar High School students who are just have the amazing opportunity to perform with some amazing internationally known female artists that will grace the stage here tonight. Uh, when we think about education and the importance of the arts, we do know that the state has cut so much from um, cultural arts from our schools. And when we as a city can support organizations like the Embrace Foundation to ensure that our students have not only quality but exceptional cultural arts experiences, it goes beyond just a classroom. Uh, their self-esteem is risen they are performing with amazing artists which then they can look within themselves to say that i too can become you know whatever i choose to be so we wish the best for our students and we can when we can provide opportunities like tonight where our students will never forget this evening it's just fitting right here for the city of miramar so we'll continue to partner with amazing organizations like the embrace music foundation to ensure that our youth can have all the exposure that they can have and we are just excited about this year's staging and this production so if you miss this year in 2024 we'll see you in 2025 where we will also bring in another amazing production so i'm miramar mayor wayne messam signing off here at the miramar cultural center at the rhythms of africa and we'll see you next year you have to put in the work it doesn't just happen. It's not gonna just drop in your lap and be like, hey, you have to put in the work. You have to be committed and you have to have the passion for it. If you have those things, and even if you don't have support, because you don't always get support from the people that are close to you, even if you don't have support, believe in yourselves is extremely important. You believe in you deep inside of here, you could achieve whatever. So please know, whatever it is that you want to do. I, as a little girl growing up in England, did not know that I was going to be able to achieve what I have achieved. Known as the Queen of Soka, and I am now Dr. Alison Hines because I received my my PhD recently last year and I did not <laughs> thank you I didn't I didn't know that these things were in my they're gonna come into my life so please know that whatever it is that you want strive for it push for it push through the fear push through the doubt because once you go through those things you will, you absolutely will achieve. I love you guys. Y'all are amazing and keep being amazing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrine Bonner and I'm so excited to be here. 
I was invited to be uh, the poet for this weekend's event, Rhythm of Africa. And uh, the title of the series is The Strength of a Woman. And I wrote a wonderful, wonderful poem that celebrates the spirit of the woman coming all the way from Africa and, of course, being scattered throughout the diaspora and what these women have made out of the, the wood they had, you know. And sometimes they had nothing at all because so much was taken away from our people. And they have weathered the weather. And I'm here to celebrate them through the poem, The Strength of a Woman. Hi, my name is Camilla Davis and I am your 2023 Miss Afrocentric from Miss African Roots Beauty Pageant. Today I'm at the Rhythms of Africa, Strength of a Woman, and I'm here with some wonderful accolades like Camilla McDonald, Atana, Alison Hines. I can't wait to see Alison Hines, who's one of my favorite soca artists. And I also do have some friends in the lineup also. Nanny Graham, who's a drummer and percussionist right here in South Florida. It's a wonderful time to be here. I'm here with my mom today and I can't wait to meet a lot of wonderful women who inspire the creative arts and Africa. Thank you so much. Wow, this show has been phenomenal so far. Um, my name is Kenji, and just hearing the amount of influence of African music around the world is insane. We heard the samba, we heard the Cuban guaguancó. They put they had Afro Peruvian in there too, and I'm I have a Peruvian in me. My my parents are Peruvian, so it's been amazing. Um, Ronnie Smith killed it. Ronnie Smith, wow, like. That guy is so talented. The show's been amazing so far, and I love it. First time coming to Rhythms of Africa, but not my last time. I'm coming back every t every year. I'm really enjoying the performances. I'll definitely be back again next year. Uh, this is my second time here, and I'm really enjoying the production. It's very well organized, very professional. Um, Willie and his staff are doing an excellent job, and I'll be back again next year. Hi, I'm with my daughter at Rhythms of Africa. This was a beautiful event this afternoon. I'm sorry a lot of people missed it, and if they did, they really missed something. They should come back next year. Mr. Stewart has been awesome. He brought on the Miramar High School, Miramar High School band, and they were awesome. It is good to know that Mr. Stewart is teaching the young kids to follow in his footsteps, because the young kids really need to know what it is of the history of Africa. Right? And Memo High School, they were awesome. If you missed it, you missed a great show. Come back next year. Don't forget now, Rhythm of Africa with Willis Stewart. He's awesome. This show was amazing for all of my friends and, and all of my family to watch. And I really appreciate it. It was fantastic. The show was a very great experience. It was a, it was a big eye-opening to different cultures that I've never experienced. And I would totally recommend this again. I had a great time. This program was an amazing experience and I didn't think it would be as big as it was, but when I got there, it completely blasted my expectations. This program was a very good program. I enjoyed myself. It, um, it gave me pathways to different types of music and stuff like that. When you first get in this program, you really don't know what's happening. You really don't know what to expect, but it's the fact that you get to play it on different types of drums and stuff like that, even coming from a music experience. So I really appreciate it. This program really, it really showed me how wonderful the artists that were performing were and how much music can really change someone. And if I could, I would love to get another chance to do it, if I could. So this show was pretty and good and nice. And my parents saw it and they was like, they was proud of me on what I was doing. So. It was a good experience. I would recommend it. The most I liked about ROA was you got to like experience different type of things, different type of drums and where they came from. And it also you meet different people from um, other schools. Yeah, I loved it. Being a part of ROA was definitely a change and an opportunity that I would like to have again. And it was an amazing experience. Rhythms of Africa was a great experience, and I'm happy that I was able to be a part of it. 
Um, the show was great. It was. I had a, an amazing time um, learning about the different cultures in the, in the Caribbean. Uh, I hope we get called back again. It was great. Really, in South Africa, it was like it was so amazing. Especially seeing my childhood um, artist Alison Hines. As soon as she went on the um, as soon as she went to the stage, I let it lose. I let it lose. But at the end of the day, it taught us how to be different with our um, cadences and everything. It taught us how to be open to other cultures and everything.